This Book of Shadows is simply a display book. For some reason I have two covers. And this one is basically just a printout of things that I've done using a word processor. So I've got a table of contents, a standard ritual, consecration, calls, altar decorations, various spells that are in their final draft as I've cast them. I'll put a date on things and where I've adapted them from. That one's for inner peace. There's a travel spell. Um, there's a health spell. That's a really good one, the Provision Opportunity Knock spell. Various prayers and just things that I could call. Either inside ritual or out of ritual. That's my whole section on divination, so I haven't really done a great deal on that. I haven't looked at this file or even this book in a couple of years. And I'm just going through it now thinking, what have I done? What do I need to do? Um, tables of correspondences, which I was really, really big on at the time. These days I don't need to refer back to these things quite so much. I would for bigger workings, but for day-to-day -day magic I don't. Planets, times, lunar calendars, lunar phases. Over here, we've got ritual records. Now we've got photocopies and photocopies that have been cut up and just stuck on. Correspondence with my crone. This is a file on a servitor that we made as an international group on an internet chat room. And if I go up the back, it just looks to be some assorted notes that I've picked up and acquired along the way that I never really got around to doing anything with. Now this Book of Shadows is just a two ring binder folder that was given to me by someone else in the craft a number of years ago and I've never got around to updating it. Once again this has been collecting dust for a fair while now. Well, There's a number of sections in it that I've never noticed anybody else having in their Books of Shadows. Uh, the first section is miscellaneous notes, just things that I've handwritten that I've researched at the time, or someone's told me. It may include sketches. You'll notice throughout, I'll put names on things or titles, little headings, and the date. This section is for recipes. That's just a page out of a women's magazine where I've punched the holes and stuck it in. Pumpkin soup. Mulled wine and potato wedges. More recipes. This page is just photocopied. Um, that was just an information sheet. This has come out of a recipe book. I've cut them to size and photocopied them together. Then I've written on my pancake and crepe recipes. This section is obviously on divination, hence the pictures and text about pendulums. These days I'd be looking to other people for advice on pendulums, not simply reading a nice glossy book, but this is where I started. In the divination section, We'd also find some readings that have been done by my crone. This is a reading that's been done by myself. Where I sketch the layout and I'll make a few notes as to what's coming to mind. Then I'll start substituting correspondences that are coming to mind that I'm being told about in place of what the actual cards are. A few more notes here. Typically at the bottom I get a paragraph or some sort of comprehensive um, text as to what the reading is actually about. This section was given to me by someone else. Um, I probably don't have any reason to keep it but then I don't have a th reason to throw it out yet either. So it's there. If I find someone appropriate, I'll most likely pass that on to them because it's information that I don't really need myself. The yellow section is for spell drafts. Once again, photocopies out of other textbooks with the date and the name of the book and where I found the book. 
This is the spell working I've got coming up. Upside down page. The beige section of my book of shadows is my dream journal. I'm not very good at dreaming and even worse at keeping records of them. Some of these dreams according to the dates are going back about 10 years. The pink section is for ritual records. For a while there I was getting into the habit of filling out a sheet and just keeping what written details I needed. Over the years I've gone to using the camera and uploading my rituals to YouTube. Now the green section, although it's labelled supplies, includes supplies but it's also an appendix for other bits and pieces that I just didn't have space for anywhere else. We've got collections of photos of things that I found online that I've needed to print out for whatever reason and I've kept a hard copy of. And I can flip through here, look at these and get inspiration. Then we come up to photography that I've taken myself. Um, all of these photos do have significance and they are here for a reason. This plastic pocket is full of parchment, which is great for doing spell workings on where I want to do something a little bit different or a little bit more environmentally friendly. I like the feel of it. It's better than your standard A4 paper. These pages can be picked up from uh, toy shops or news agents or hobby shops. They're typically sold for um, football cards or Pokemon cards. Here I've got a magnet with a key stuck to it. I just found the key the other day. I've got various uh, key rings, pendants, dragon pendants, a hummingbird brooch that uh, belonged to a deceased relative, split rings which are great just for clipping things together in a hurry. This second page contains all sorts of charms. So the heart charm, star charms, a little pixie and some beads. The green section is labelled spell works and these are things that have come out of spells that I haven't destroyed yet for whatever reason I've decided to keep them. This particular one is a sketch that is part of a spell working that I do in ritual in a circle. This is part of the opportunity knock spell where I'm required to actually sketch a doorway. And then what Australian Book of Shadows would not be complete without an out-of-date catalogue from the Esoteric Bookshop.